Members of the Uganda Medical Association have been on strike for four days now. Today, the health minister and a team from the ministry appeared before the Parliament's Committee on Health. Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng said they are lobbying the finance ministry to find the money and bring an end to the doctor's industrial action. We need to wait for the pay policy uh, to be concluded. As we continue with the negotiations, with both public service and finance. She told the committee that her ministry is not responsible for the welfare of medical interns because their allowances are supposed to be catered for by the Ministry of Education. Public service did indicate to us that these are students under Ministry of Education. And when we are paying them, it means we are buying labor. You're paying for people to work. How are we going to measure the amount of time they give to doing government work? You can't come and, and calculate finance. the number of senior house officers yes. you have. So the senior house officers minister. chair okay. are officially under Ministry of Education. But they work in Mulago, which is a Ministry of Health institution. They are the bulk of the labor. You should accept the problem. MPs inquired why this impulse passes. I don't know what the ministry has to do so that this problem comes to an end once for all. Dr. Chen stressed that the funds given to Parliament to consult on the Constitution Amendment Bill on the matter of lifting the presidential age limit was the final nail in the coffin. And we're trying to say no. The pay policy will sort out all this. But the final nail was the 29 million. And uh, as you're very much aware, there are some, some people in the trade union who are not helpful because they were there on that day in person and saying, yes, if I got 29 million, you can also get. Some MPs shared their views on this matter. Stakeholders see, of course, Parliament getting the 29 million, and that's their, their talk out there, that how come the MPs are given 29 million, and we are out here suffering and waiting. So I think there are some lessons that we have to learn as MPs, but also uh, as government, because uh, there are some things that we have to endure. Uh, someone who went there and was trying to cat uh, catalyze that maybe these health workers should, 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 uh, should stage a strike because we got one oh, 29, billion, uh, 29 million. I think he was even right. He was right. Didn't you see that even some of the members of parliament never used the money? Others hinted that infighting among the ministry's top officials could have led to the doctor's strike. More research all in TV at Parliament.